This is a biblical war of good versus evil. Hello people, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. It's not a complete season of the boys if the views haven't been shocked out of their wits by some of the bizarre events, and season 4 is no exception. After a relatively steady build-up to the final few episodes, the fifth episode, titled Beware the Jabberwock, My Son, spirals into the familiar territory of brutal violence and an unexpected turn of events. After the eventful fifth episode, we're intrigued by the numerous possibilities that lay ahead for the narrative, and in this video, we'll explore every feasible outcome that you can expect in the next episode and the ones to follow. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Hey, Dad, it's okay. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. Is Hugh's dad really dead? After watching Compound V slip into his bloodstream in the previous episode, we were anticipating a ghastly outcome, and the storyline featuring Huey's father doesn't disappoint. He turns into a soup who has no control over his abilities, and after going on a violent killing spree, Hugh is finally stopped by his son, Huey. After getting him in a composed state, Huey administers a special drug, which he claims to have learned about from Frenchie, and this drug kills Hugh painlessly. It seems like the only way out, but the bigger question is whether a soup can be killed so easily. This also leads to the question of whether Hugh is really dead, and the answer might be disappointing. Although we expected an actor of Simon Pegg's caliber to have a much bigger role, his appearance might have been cut short. The death scene was made quite decisive, and we could see Hugh's grip loosening, and his wife Daphne and Huey were even mourning his passing. However, given how a simple drug shouldn't kill a soup so easily, we can't rule out the possibility that Hugh has temporarily slipped into a coma, and he'll be back in action again. There is a probability that he'll be revived in the show, and in that case, we can expect him to take control of his powers and help out the boys in their fight against Homelander and Vought. That being said, all these are outrageous speculations at this moment, and you shouldn't really hold your horses on this theory. All we can say is that if Huey's father is really dead, the adorable and innocent fellow will be sorely missed. Adam, I think you should get on your knees and do it again. Is Ryan turning to his dark side? The fifth episode also delves into two major father son relationships, and while Huey and Hugh Sr. end in a tragedy, Homelander and Ryan seem to be hitting it off. Their dynamics has undergone a sea change over the seasons, and only in the previous episode we saw a major disagreement and fallout between the two. The fifth episode, however, suggests that all is back to normal between them, and Homelander is back to being an unusually supportive father. When Ryan doesn't appreciate a program idea featuring him, Homelander tells him that he doesn't have to go ahead with it if he doesn't want to. Later, Ryan tells Homelander about his dream of helping people in real life, not just in the Vought programs, and the Twisted Soup doesn't laugh it off. Clearly, he wants to strengthen the relationship with his son, and so far it's working just fine. The two also have a bonding moment when Ryan spots Adam Bulk making one of his female colleagues uncomfortable. Homelander suggests an impactful punishment for him, and it's quite a moment when Ryan makes Adam kneel before the lady and asks her to slap him for his actions. The eerie smile on Ryan's face at this moment makes us anxious, because it reminds us of Homelander so much. The upcoming episodes can explore further into this, and we expect Ryan to give in to the temptations and turn out to be just like his father. Of course, Butcher will go all out to protect him, but that might not be an option after a point. If Ryan goes rogue, he can never be used against Homelander, and in fact, he'll have to be taken out as well. Butcher might be caught up in a dilemma, and we believe that the next episode will have enough hints in this regard, and we'll know where the story is really headed. It does make sense that Ryan will ultimately be consumed by his dark side, because one of the major themes of the show is that incredible power inevitably corrupts. Will we see the sentient creature living inside Butcher in the next episode? There have been quite a few hints dropped in the earlier episodes about the possibility of a sentient venom-like entity living inside Butcher. This might have been one of the side effects of Compound V on his body, but it's also what saves his life when Ezekiel almost strangles him to death. This sentient creature seems to be like an efficient defense mechanism, and it's activated when Butcher is down and out. In the fifth episode, we see glimpses of this creature when a laboratory bunny is released by Butcher. This bunny was given Temp V, and later in the episode we see a gruesome end of the creature. A few black tentacles seem to emerge from its body, and Butcher squishes the creature with his boots. However, we can't help but wonder if the creature dwelling inside Butcher is somewhat similar in nature. It doesn't burst out of his body because it's bonded with his system, and we expect to see more of this venom-like organism in the next episode. If this is Butcher's secret superpower, then it's quite likely that it'll be quite a handful during the final showdown with Homelander and the other soups. Billy Butcher. Joe Kessler. 
Does Joe Kessler really exist? In our earlier videos, we've already spoken about the possibility that Joe Kessler is only a part of Butch's imagination, and the theory has more ground after the fifth episode. For starters, every interaction between Butcher and Joe Kessler takes place when Butcher is alone. Joe continues to provide him with the guile and inputs that he already has, but is hesitating to act on. Basically, the whole Joe Kessler persona makes Butcher more daring and determined, and this motivating factor might just be all in his mind. Another major hint about this comes toward the end of the episode. It's revealed that Victoria Newman a strange partner and scientist Samir is taken captive by Butcher, and he makes it look like Samir is dead. Nobody knows about this secret except for Joe Kessler, and this is the only moment when Kessler is seen before another person when Butcher takes him to Samir. However, the look on Samir's face is that of bewilderment, and it seems like he can't make sense of who Butcher is talking to. We believe that the next episode in the narrative thereafter will confirm this theory, and Joe Kessler will be proven to be just a tool of Butcher's mind to keep him going. Also, expect Kessler to come up with more drastic ideas that Butcher in his normal mind will hesitate to act upon. Fun. Why is Starlight losing her powers and how will she get it back? In the previous episode, we've seen how Starlight is mentally devastated following the public allegations by Firecracker against her. The talks about Starlight's abortion push her over the edge, and she even loses her cool and lashes out at Firecracker in front of the cameras. Ever since then, she's been extremely disturbed and in a state of constant guilt, and things have gotten even worse because Huey's not there to help her out in this time of distress. In the fifth episode, we find a shocking instance where Starlight fails to use her powers even when she tries to. Everyone notices her lack of performance and there's a couple of occasions in the episode where her powers betray her. This is probably due to her disturbed mental state and stress, and we're quite sure that she'll get her powers back when it matters the most. There's been a long-running theory that Starlight will use her powers to blind someone, and blinding Victoria Newman can neutralize the threat posed by her. As of now, there's an uneasy truce between Victoria and the boys, but we can expect a decisive showdown very soon in the upcoming episodes. We expect Starlight to get her powers back in dramatic fashion, and it's quite possible that the enemy will disregard her, at least expecting her to strike. It's then that her determination will get her ability restored, and she'll blind someone, most likely Victoria Newman, to take her out of the fight. That footage didn't just run itself out of crime analytics. Am I right? Does Sister Sage know about A-Train's betrayal? One of the glaring changes in Season 4 has been the personality of A-Train. He was never purely evil, but now he seems to be more determined than ever to right all his wrongs. In the earlier episodes, we've seen him help out Huey with Compound V from Homelander's quarters, and he also retrieved a secret footage that helped in proving the innocence of the wrongfully accused Starlighters. However, there's one solid drawback, and A-Train knows that Sister Sage, the smartest person in the world and Homelander's right hand, is onto him. Even in the fifth episode, the conversations between the two indicate the Sage is almost sure about A-Train's involvement, and maybe she just doesn't have any concrete evidence yet. Now that Ashley's been roped in by A-Train into the conspiracy, and Cameron's framed for the betrayal by her, this may have stopped A-Train's prosecution for the time being, but for how long? We're quite certain that the next few episodes will blow the cover of A-Train, and he'll either have to join the boys completely, or fall prey to Homelander's wrath. One thing is for certain, that you'll get to witness his redemption arc, and there's also a chance that he'll die a hero's death by sacrificing himself for the others. Why did Victoria Newman really Stan Edgar? One of the defining moments of Episode 5 is when Stan Edgar is reintroduced into the narrative as the boys go looking for the soup-killing virus. He's released from prison on a presidential pardon, and is promised a reprieve if the boys get their hands on the virus. However, it doesn't work out as planned, and since the boys don't get the virus, Stan Edgar's sent back to jail. On his way back, his car is ambushed by Victoria Newman, who explodes the head of the driver and releases Stan. But the question is why? Does she finally realize that Stan Edgar has always been a well-wisher for her, or is it simply because she needs him for something. Hmm. The interactions between the two in this episode suggested that they have a lot of tension between them because of the past, but they still have an underlying love for each other. Stan Edgar cares for his adoptive daughter and granddaughter, and Victoria might have saved him because of her affection. Whatever the case is, you can expect the powerful duo of powers and brains to work together in tandem. Stan might try to work his way into Vought, and we expect them to plan on taking down Homelander, just like the boys. However, it's also worth noting that their motives will not align with the boys, and thus, we can expect a three-way showdown in the climax moments of the show. Will Butcher get his hands on the soup-killing virus? Butcher has the possession of Samir, who seems to be the only one capable at the moment to come up with the virus again. If he makes him create the soup-killing virus, we wonder what his immediate actions will be. Butcher has to exercise restraint, because he wouldn't want to kill the likes of Kimiko, Starlight, and Ryan, but all that might change given how volatile his mental state is. We also don't rule out the possibility that Butcher will go rogue himself at one point, and something similar also happens in the comics when he kills M.M., Frenchie, and Kimiko. And finally, Huey puts an end to his misery. Since the show has been a 
approved for a fifth season, we don't think any of this will happen just yet, and a character as important as Butcher will be kept in the hunt for the final season. But the next episode can hold crucial hints about the whereabouts of the soup-killing virus, which might offer an insight into the probable ending of the show. Sir, we'll get to you when we I can. I've committed murders. What happens to Frenchie next, following his surrender? This is a crucial moment in the fifth episode that slipped past the radar because of how eventful the rest of the episode has been. Frenchie's overcome with guilt for killing his lover's entire family back in the day, and he goes up to a police station and surrenders. He confesses his crimes, and the cops can be seen taking him into custody immediately. But what will be the implications of this surrender? The boys have plenty left to do, and they'll need Frenchie's expertise and knowledge of explosives more than ever. The good thing about the boys is that they have ties high up in the administration, and from top CIA operatives to Robert Singer himself work alongside them. We've seen them get a presidential pardon for Stan Edgar quite easily in this episode, and it might not be very difficult for them to get Frenchie out. That being said, the bigger concern is actually Frenchie's mental state, and it remains to be seen how fit he is to serve the remaining missions. We've already watched him delve into heavy drugs in order to keep his mind away from the trauma and guilt, and he needs to make a quick recovery to be back in action. Maybe Colin forgiving him can make things better. And we also don't rule out the possibility that Colin gets killed and Frenchie rejoins the boys to get his revenge. You can expect Frenchie to be freed in the upcoming episodes because even in the comic books he has a major role to play leading up to the downfall of Homelander. How will we know when the time comes? Trust me, you'll know. Can we expect more cameos in the next episode? The fifth episode of season four introduces some important cameos from the Gen V universe, and the return of the soup Sam and Kate points to the same. We can expect some major cameos in the final few episodes of the season, and there have even been talks of a possible Queen Maeve reappearance in the show. We have to wait and watch out for the exact cameos, but you can be sure of some more surprises along the way. Do let us know in the comments below what you think about the probable outcomes in the upcoming episodes, and share your views on how the remaining episodes can set up season five. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.